Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, I'm going old school country on y'all today. A lot of y'all familiar with this. Y'all already seen the preview video, preview picture, and the title of the video. Yes, I'm gonna do some fried quail with some country gravy on some skillet gravy. Look at these quail. You gotta be in the country. I know the delicacy of these. See these nice little birdies? These are quail. They've been cleaned and deboned. Only bone they have on them, which makes them eat so much better, is the leg and the thigh and the wing. The backbone's been removed, you can see, and it makes them fry so much easier, y'all, and eat so much easier. Quail don't take long to cook, maybe three, four minutes on each side, and they're ready. And of course, I can eat all these in one sitting because they're so little. Growing up in the country, that's the thing. Fried quail, quail hunting, take a shotgun, go out there, get you about 20, 30 quail, Come home and clean them. Mama would fry them or make some quail dumplings. But the first the way I love them is fried, just like this. So let's get started here, y'all. I'm going to season them up on each side. Look, cabinets. People say, what is cabinets? Cabinets right here. Look at this. C A V E N D R S. This is season. I'm not even sponsored by these people. I wish they would because I love them religiously. But I've been using them since I was 16, 17 years old. That's how much I believe in cavender. So I put a little shake on there. People say, what is the shake? Go to uh, my website. I got a website, www.oldschoolsoulfood.com. I got a website, a video. Soon you go on that website and tells you exactly how to order this. You go to unclesteedshake.com, pick out the season you want. Make sure in the special instruction box, you put old school soul food. When you put that in the special instruction box, you get my old school soul food brand on that. See that brand? Yeah. So that's how, that's that. I know I got a lot of new new family members that come on board. Letting y'all know. Okay, we're gonna season on both sides here. A little calendar. Shake. And some salt and pepper. A little salt, kosher salt. I use kosher salt and white pepper. That's the only, I don't use a lot of seasoning. I might change it up every once in a while. I don't think food needs all these crazy seasoning on there. It really doesn't. Okay, throw these in this bowl here. And I'm going to put some buttermilk on here. We're going to pour some buttermilk on here. There we go. Some buttermilk on there. Right here. Now. I got my uh, I got my fire heating up there, y'all. Now I'm gonna get my flour here. Let me move y'all over to the to the skillet here. There we go. Got my skillet heating up. Like I say, this don't take long at all, y'all. This ain't gonna take long at all. We're gonna put it in our skillet. We're gonna bread these things up. And after we fry them all. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna make some skillet gravy. Throw them in here. Get them fried up really, really good. Like I say, y'all, I raised on some fried quail, y'all. You gotta be country, I guess, to know the delicacy of some fried quail. Nothing like chicken fried quail. Don't get much better, y'all. Make sure you got the flour on there really, really good. Put it in the skillet here. Put the last one right in there. Okay. We're going to let these cook two or three minutes on each side. I'm going to take it off, put it on the sheet pan, lay it in the oven just to keep it warm till I can get my gravy going. So we'll be back here in about three or four minutes when it's time to flip them over. And I'll show you how the other side looks, and we'll keep going. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, it's been about, about two and a half, three minutes. Now, we're just going to flip them over here. See how pretty and golden brown these are? Like I say, y'all, they don't take long at all on quail. They cook so quick. And I'm telling you, y'all, these things are so, so, so good. 
just remember growing up, the only thing you had to watch out for is the buckshot of the, we call them BBs in them. Because when my mama clean them, my daddy clean them, you might not get the buckshot out of them, and you might bite down on one of them. And that does not feel good when you bite down on a buckshot or a BB while you're eating quail. So yeah, that brings back, I don't know if it's good memories, but just memories of growing up. But like I say, my mom used to make these and she makes some of that skillet gravy with it. Oh, I eat it like this with some ketchup. Shoot, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, proud, but yeah. So if you got assets, I know some specialty stores you can buy these too, but uh, now you know somebody hunt out in the country, the little quail season is over with. I got mine all stocked up in the freezer, uh, but yeah, let me get you some and go fry some up. So anyway, y'all, we'll be back here in about three or four minutes. I'm going to take these out, put them on a pan, just throw them in the oven so they can stay warm while I'm doing the gravy. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay. I got my pan here, my sheet pan here with the rack. And all I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to throw these in the oven. They need to cook a couple of more minutes, which is fine. I got my oven heating up there. Put in my oven here. Now, I'm going to take some of this oil out of here because I don't need all this oil to make my gravy. about all the oil I'm gonna need. Now, where's my dirty flour lady at? Anybody, I haven't seen my dirty flour lady in a while. That's a joke, if y'all don't know the joke, y'all just come in amongst yourselves. I'm gonna take some of my dirty flour that I breaded my quail in. If y'all don't know the joke, some ladies say, why am I using the same flour that I bred my chicken or my quail in to, to make gravy? Say, that's dirty flour. Let me get, I got a piece of quail in here, y'all. Definitely don't want to use that. And uh, that's the big joke about the dirty flour. So what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of get this flour taste out of here. That little residue there, I'm going to keep in there. Put a little bit more dirty flour in here, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm on, working on that to patent that and sell that dirty flour, y'all. Okay. That's all the flour we're going to need. We're going to kind of brown this a little. And then we're going to put some milk in here. You can put water. My mama used to put water. But I'm being fancy. I'm going to put some milk in it. Put a little milk in mine here. Alrighty. Alright. Put my milk in here. More. A little bit more. Oh yeah. A little bit more. Now, we're gonna let this come together a little. You don't want it too thick. And you can always thin it out though, y'all. Always thin it out. Quick that come together. Now that they thick come together. I'm gonna put a little water in here. Then that with a little water now. There we go. Now y'all know I'm gonna put black pepper. That's the only time you ever see me really use black pepper. I just like black pepper. It's just, it just not skillet gravy without good black pepper. And I like a lot of black pepper in my skillet gravy. I'm going to put a little bit more water in just a second, y'all. Put some salt and pepper, a little salt. We're going to thin it out a little more. Like I said, you can always thin it out, but you can't. I don't like to add, add more flour. It's going to make a lot of gravy. And all I need some biscuits with this quail, y'all. Look at that. We're gonna definitely taste this and see how it is. Always taste your food, y'all. Always taste your food here. See here. 
Mm. Actually, it needs a little bit more salt. To be honest. Oh yeah. That's it, man. See how quick that come together? Less than five minutes, right? I didn't even go to a break. Just kept doing it. Okay. I got my little bowl over here. See if I can fill this bowl up with the gravy. How good am I, y'all? I think I need a bigger bowl. I think I need a bigger bowl, y'all. Okay. Turn this off. Pour this right into the bowl. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to be right back, y'all, here in just a second. I'm going to quail out the oven. We're going to try this uh, chicken fried quail and white cream gravy. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back. And look at this plate of goodness, y'all. Look at that. Look at that nice crispy fried quail. I got my buttermilk, I mean my cream gravy on there. Like I say, I can eat every one of them. I can eat every one of them. Then I got some extra gravy here. I'm going to make some biscuits and gravy probably tomorrow morning or so. And I got my gravy already ready. I ain't got to make no gravy. All I got to do is just warm it back up. So that's, that's the advantage of making a lot of gravy. But, hey, let me taste this. Like I say, there's no bones in this. Only the only the legs. Look at that. Look at that. Dip that in that gravy there. See that nice gravy just stays on that thick. It's going to be a hot taste. Mm, mm, mm. When people gonna ask me, what does quail taste like? Does it taste like chicken? No. It tastes like quail. Maybe it's a cross between a frog leg and a chicken. Okay, that probably threw y'all. What's that? I'm gonna do some frog legs. It's coming up this year. I'm gonna put some frog legs on here. That's another thing I grew up on. Gigging frogs out in the woods. Late at night, get them bullfrog, kill them, take the legs off, mm. fry them legs. That's what they taste like. Cross between frog legs and chicken. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my God, y'all. That's good eating. I know y'all, y'all probably never had quail. Like I said, you can buy it in some store, especially meat market. Check it out. I'm going to say this year I'm going to hit y'all from all sides, different things. Well, I've never seen before. I probably don't remember. A lot of you older people like me, the older than me, in the 60s and 70s and 80s, y'all y'all, y'all can kind of comprehend a lot of things I cook and make. The, old, the young people don't know. But anyway, let me get a drink of water, y'all. All right. Let me close this video. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help others with a purpose. Help others with a purpose. Remember that, y'all. Get out there and help have a purpose every day. Get up and help others. Remember that, that hashtag, help others with a purpose. I don't think I'm going to put old school soul food to the end of it. We're just going to let that one go viral. And that's typing, y'all have to do. So until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.